you know, I can show other people na sila din, they can live their truth. As long as wala kang nahi- na- natatapakan at nasasaktan na ibang tao, yan yung purpose mo sa mundo. It's to spread love. So, ganun lang siya. Um, yes, ako, I'm, I'm a very religious person. I mean, I believe in God. And I, yun nga, yung pinagbasihan kasi ng movies is my own experience when I was in high school na alam ni Kuya Nick to, na kasi ng press club ng Dazers. So, nag, nag-volunteer talaga ako sa isang retreat, optional retreat. It was called, you know, Days with the Lord. And now pa rin naman active pa rin siya sa ibang mga schools. At doon sa, uh, sa doon ko talaga naramdaman yung how, you know, yung our relationship with God, uh, we dictate our own relationship with God. Parang it doesn't really matter kung ano man ang sabihin nila. Basta kung ano yung pinaniniwalaan mo, na yun yung totoo, na kumakapit ka sa Panginoon. Because, not because uh, bakla ka, but because tao ka, na meron kang relationship sa Kanya. Kasi dun, dun, sa, dun sa Days with the Lord, we, we call uh, Jesus uh, uh, Kuya Jess. So that's how I always refer to him. Kuya ko siya. At ganun ko siya tinitignan. Hindi niya, at feeling ko hindi niya ako ginudjudge dahil lang bakla ako. Or ginudjudge niya ako dahil mabuti akong tao. Diba? And I think that's what's important. And ayun yung gustong sabihin ng pelikula na parang, and even this series, na parang um, despite, you know, you, I think God, ako talaga, paniniwala ko talaga, na kinreate tayo ng Panginoon um, the way we are now. Diba? We, we are created to be to be like this I'm, I'm i was created to be gay you know and hindi naman siya gagawa ng isang bagay na parang di ba uh, ikasasama natin di ba mahirap maging bakla pero kailangan mo siyang pagdaanan para mas maging you know matatag ka sa sa paniniwala mo sa buhay pati rin ang paniniwala mo sa kanya you know na you know all things were created for a purpose and and that's what i want to ipakita sa pin ko lang ito na and sa series na regardless kung bakla ka basta hindi hindi hindi, hindi question yung pagiging bakla when it comes to religion it can coexist hindi perket um, bakla ka hindi ka na pwedeng maging religious hindi perket bakla ka kailangan mo ng alam mo yon uh, this own si god kasi sinasabi ng mga uh, tao diyan kinukutan ka ng mga bible terms against you know homosexuality diba hindi mo naman sila kailangan pakinggan basta ko alam mo sa sarili mo na wala kang ginagawang masama it will shine through you know at the, at the end of the day it's 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 that relationship with the lord sure um dagdagan ko lang din yung sinabi ni Dolly i think yes, uh, siguro basic lang naman din kasi na parang um god is universal and then at the same time he doesn't discriminate i think yun yung importanteng malaman din ng tao so kung ano man ang preference ng bawat isa he will respect that as long as na wala kang ginagawang mali, as long as wala kang inagarpado, as long as na minamahal mo pa rin yung sarili mo, I'm sure that na God will support you kung ano man din yung kung magiging preference mo, kung ano man yung magiging choices mo. Kasi at the end of the day, yun naman din yung importante na nagpakabait ka, naging tama ka, naging responsable ka at nag, kaya mo respetuhin yung sarili mo at kapwa mo. Thank you, sir. Hi, Miguel. Good afternoon. Hi, Jody. Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, to answer your question, well, um, what I know about the God we serve is that He is love. And He is the kind of God that doesn't condemn nor judge. So if, if He has that kind of character, then who are we to judge, to condemn, or to discriminate others? Diba? We are here to love one another. Simple. Thank you, Jody. Adrian? Hi, Miguel. Thank you so much sa question na yun. Kukot ko lang din yung line ni Dominic dun sa pelikula. To honor, to love is to honor God because God is love. So in that sense, medyo pareho kami ng perspective ni Direk Dali. And ako personally, yung faith ko, ma- marami ng pinagdaanan yan. I grew up in a conservative Catholic family. So I grew up hating myself because 
ayokong maramdaman yung mga natural na nararamdaman ko. I don't want to be attracted to boys kasi bawal siya. Narinig ko na bawal yun. So I grew up hating myself. And nung nag-college ako sa Lasal, dun ko natutunan yung iba-ibang soji, dun ko natutunan yung iba't ibang faith, iba-ibang paniniwala sa mundo. Dun ako mag liberal and naging atheist ako actually that time. Tapos, it didn't work out kasi fundamentally, I'm a very spiritual person. And so ngayon, umabot na ako sa pag, pag-merge ng truth ko as a person and ng relationship ko with God and spirituality na because God is love and to love is to honor God, we have to understand that if only I had a choice, Miguel. If only I had a choice, I would just choose to be straight kasi mas madali maging straight. But I wasn't born that way. I have these natural urges and eh, takla ako eh. If may feminine side ako. And I also have a masculine side. And I embrace all those qualities about me. And and I think yung purpose ko is to live out my truth so that you know, I can show other people na sila din, they can live their truth. As long as wala kang nahi- na- natatapakan at nasasaktan na ibang tao, yan yung purpose mo sa mundo. It's to spread love. So, ganun lang siya. <laughs>